Hello and welcome back to another Chinese food adventure. I am in Shuyi and a lot of people just hearing the name of where I am will know exactly what this video is going to be about. I'm going to be having crayfish today, Shuyi Xiaolongxia, which is some of the best Xiaolongxia in China. No one can live through Shuyi. Yeah! Yeah! For the non-Chinese speakers out there, the Chinese word for crayfish is Xiaolongxia. It directly translates to little lobsters and I personally find this very cute. Simply put, Xiaolongxia from Suyi are the bee's knees of China's Xiaolongxia industry. Everyone wants to get their hands on them. In fact, this city is often referred to as the crayfish capital of China, something you'll be reminded of everywhere you look here in Suyi. There are crayfish on bus shelters, on street posts, in front of restaurants. And of course, Suyi also has a Xiaolongxia museum. Check out that color. You can definitely tell it's a Xiaolongxia museum. I have to say, it's definitely one of the more unique museums I've visited in my time. There's even a crayfish festival that takes place here in Shuyi every year. It features a crayfish banquet for 10,000 people where 50 tons of crayfish are consumed in a single evening. It's safe to say the people of Shuyi love and are very proud of their crayfish. They're juicy, they're big, and this expansive water behind me here is absolutely full of them. In fact, this boat right here, they are feeding the Xiaolongxia. Ah, the circle of life. We feed the Xiaolongxia and then they feed us. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to get up nice, close and personal with these Xiaolongxia. Mm, <laughs> Check out how big they are. Wow! 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 And of that 500 kilos caught a day, I reckon a decent kilo are able to make a timely escape. Why do Xiaolongxia so much love? 啊,是龍蝦,大家都知道 这个是公的,你看它,它两个枪,啊,一个枪,你看它。哦,对。啊,一个枪,对不对?他们也是一样的,很有感情的这样子,在一起的。这个龙虾呢,也是一夫一妻制的啊。它是拿了一个枪的。
，这叫高粱浆，这个是肉桂。In my life, I've never seen such a large plate of food. We've got our sexy bibs on here first and foremost because this is a messy process. In my life, I have eaten xiao long xiao before, but definitely not as much as my friend Emma here. Emma, you like xiao long xiao, right? I like it very much. I think we should eat the xiao long xiao, right? Okay. Xiao long xiao, wow, too many flavors. I know there are so many. Wow, there are many flavors. In this glorious spinning crayfish platter, there were six different flavors of xiao long xiao and 120 xiao long xiao in total. Okay, here we go. Let's eat. Let's go. Now I know how to identify whether this this is a boy or a girl. Do you want to know whether this is a boy or a girl? Oh, this is a girl. Why? Because it has no thingy here. Let me see yours. Also a girl. Also a girl. Oh, I'm so exciting. I've been waiting for this moment. It's so big. So big. So juicy. Mm. Oh my god! Mm. Really, really juicy. It's a really nice texture. Its meat is very tender, very soft. Yes, yes. It's mm -hmm. so good. If you haven't had a xiao long xiao before, it's kind of like a mix between, I'd say, a prawn and maybe crab. Mm, crab. Wow. Oh, you can. This is man. So I'm sure you didn't come to my channel to watch me feel up crayfish. So to avoid any potential crayfish lawsuits, let's move swiftly on. I'm really enjoying this 13 spices one because it's a little bit spicy but not over the top spicy. You think the 13th spice is the most popular flavor? Maybe it's also very popular. So some of the other popular styles of crayfish include garlic flavor. You've also got crayfish that are steamed with water to retain the original flavor of the crayfish. You've got Hubei style xiao long xiao braised in oil, Sichuan style mala xiao long xiao, which is spicy and numbing, as well as a very, very popular style of crayfish from Hunan province called Kowei xiao, which is very, very spicy. Write in the comments below, what's your favorite flavor of xiao long xiao? I'd be very interested to know. Mm -hmm. Look, I've already eaten four or five, but don't worry. I learned today you can eat many, many, many of these, not get fat and not get la duza, not get diarrhea, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm very interested to try this one here. It's a different flavor. It's like pao cai flavor. Pao cai. We're always trying to develop new flavors, innovate. Oh. What kind of new flavors? We have new flavors of pao cai xiao long xiao. Wow. Yes. It has a bit of a sweet, sweet, a little bit of a bitter. Very sweet. Oh, it smells slightly sour, this one. Mm. And it's really, really good. It has like a slight sourness to it, not too overwhelming. Honestly, I don't think there's a way that you could make this and it won't taste good. I think the original flavor of the crayfish is already so juicy and delicious. I was also given this just now. Apparently, it's like a really good accompanying drink for xiao long xiao. And actually, on the can, it says you can have some xiao long xiao and you can drink this drink. So it's like specifically designed to be eaten with xiao long xiao. So let's try this. And see what it tastes like. The perfect pairing drink for salon stuff. I don't know, I don't, I don't think I like that actually. <laughs> I think it tastes like medicine a bit. I think I'll stick with tea. <laughs> And I know what you guys are thinking. How did you two finish off 120 xiao long xiao by yourselves? Well, don't worry, every single crayfish was eaten today. I'm actually here filming a TV documentary for Australia TV. So this banquet was enough to feed the entire film crew. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We are going to be very, very full and uh, we will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.